Atlanta Braves hosting the Houston Astros. The Astros are plus 116 on the money line. The Braves are minus 126. The over under is eight runs. The Astros getting a run and a half or minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Braves laying a run and a half or plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Neither McClusters or Wright pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. The Astros are on a one-game winning streak, a two-game winning streak. They are seven and three in their last ten. They are 38 and 25 on the road. They are 62 and 58 on the run line, meaning if you've been betting them getting or laying runs, they're four games over 500. They are one and zero with McClusters on the mound, and the under is one and zero in the games in which he pitches in. The Braves are on a one-game winning streak. They are nine and one in their last ten. They are 40 and 23 at home. They are 63 and 57 on the run line, meaning if you've been betting them that way, they are six games over 500. They are 16 and five with Wright on the mound, and the under is 14 and seven in the games in which he pitches in. Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a two-game winning streak. The Braves are on a one-game winning streak. The Astros are six and four against the Braves. In their last 10 meetings, the over is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games. The over 8 specifically is also 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 meetings. There have been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings, and the favorite winning the game by two minus a run and a half is 7-3. and three. I'm going Braves with the money line, Braves laying the runs and the under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.